What is going on everybody? My name is Colin Kelly and I'm here to talk to you today about the Security Plus exam and how I passed Security Plus in three weeks. Um, I took the SIS 501 exam over the summer while I was working full time and I'm just going to give you a few uh, tips and tricks of um, basically how to study for this exam. So first off, buy the book by Daryl Gibson, Get Certified, Get Ahead, the five, make sure you get the right exam. Uh, during the time when I was taking this exam, there was actually the 401 and the 501 was out, so I had to make the choice um, between the two exams, and it expired in July, so I chose to take the 501 exam, but make sure you're getting yourself the right book. Um, this is a great book. It's about 600 pages. Uh, you can move through it pretty quickly. Um, it's decently interesting information, and there's quizzes at the end of each chapter. So, I would, when, as soon as you get this book, I would start working through it, take the pre-exam, and then assess yourself on how you did on the pre-exam. Write those topics down, keep them aside, and then when you do come across those topics when you're reading through the book the, the next time, really emphasize those chapters, really take um, some more notes. And so when you're going through the book, there's 15 question chapter uh, quizzes on each at the end of it. And um, as, you, as you might know already or might not, uh, in the Security Plus exam, you have to get a 750 out of 900 score, which comes out to be about 83%. And these quizzes in the book are a little bit easier than the exam. So I would recommend not moving on to the next chapter until you have about a 14 out of 15 on each chapter quiz. Because while they're a little bit easier than the actual exam questions, they're pretty representative of the knowledge that you need to know moving forward. Uh, as far as taking notes, I highlighted actually in the book um, I started out taking notes on, in a separate booklet, but I found that that became uh, too much and I wasn't actually going through them. Um, so basically I took the material that I needed to know, that I had trouble with in the pre-exam, I wrote that down, filled those definitions in a separate book, and then anything else that I uh, found was useful I would highlight when I was going through the chapters. Um, definitely block this up in, in a set period of time, so pick a Pick, everyone says 45 days, um, pick your exam date 45 days away. It, if that works for you, that's good. I would definitely go for it. Uh, I had a little bit of a shorter time frame, but definitely pick your exam time and then plan out a time frame that ends about a week earlier than that exam time to read through the book. Finish the book a week before your exam and then you have some time to go back, look at the highlights, take all the chapter quizzes again and move through Daryl Gibson's online material. So Daryl Gibson's online material is actually pretty useful and he has an application um, in the Apple App Store that was, it was pretty helpful. Along with that, I uh, purchased an app called Pocket Prep. That was pretty useful. And basically my whole idea with, with this, with getting these apps, is to really just be doing this material all the time so I become familiar with it. Because I, I'm, I'm a student in cybersecurity but there were some of these, some of these topics that I, we did not discuss in class. So when I was reading through the book, you, you would definitely have chapters where I knew everything and I, I, didn't have tr I didn't have trouble, but then there would be chapters that were completely new to me. So that's why the Security Plus exam was actually a really good, really good thing for me and I would highly recommend it. Um, as far as things to complement the book, I would highly recommend Professor Messer. Um, I'm sure you've heard of him if you, if you have done any uh, CompTIA certifications before, but if his name is new to you, go right now after this video and check out his website. He has about 150 videos for the Security Plus exam as well as Network Plus and A Plus exams. Um, he also has practice quizzes on his website and he did make a study guide um, it was a very helpful study guide and I did purchase it for about uh, $20 right before my exam. It really helped seal the deal for me and get me f fill in some of the holes that I had going into the exam. Um, as far as other material, Professor Messer actually has a, a study session every, I think it was monthly, and they talked about it. So I'm definitely an auditory learner. Like, I really enjoy listening to podcasts and listening to audiobooks. So while well, I was able to listen to his study sessions about the Security Plus material with practice questions and everything while I was on my runs or just out running errands. So it was, it was, definitely, uh, it was definitely a good resource. But getting back to it, there are so many resources out there because this is a really popular exam. 
um, that you just have to really find out what works well for you. But definitely start with the book and then expand from there. If you're, if you're more of a video person, I would, I would highly recommend Professor Messer's videos. They're high quality and he really, he really goes into some good detail and they're pretty representative of what is on the exam. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about when I took the exam. So, like I said before, I had a little bit of a short time frame to get ready for this exam, and I was working full-time at an internship over the summer. And my, my main goal was to get this Security Plus certification before I went back to school. Um, so, I took it at a local testing center, and I, it was actually, it was, it was definitely a lot harder than I had anticipated, and I had gone through many practice exams. I, I was getting uh, 90s on everything at least. Um, I was getting 100% on the chapter quizzes, and in the post uh, assessment on Daryl Gibson's book, I was scoring very highly. So I wasn't too stressed going into it, but, do, and this is also a very good point, is when you see the simulations, do not get stressed out. Honestly, if, if that, if, if you are someone who can get knocked off your game, um, or if this is just your first certification exam, I would recommend just skipping over the, uh, the simulations, moving on to the regular questions, because you, once you get on a roll and you start realizing you're, you're, you realize that you're doing well, it's, it's very easy to come back to the simulations at the end. And it's not that they're hard. It's not that they're hard at all. Um, my, I had varying uh, simulations, but if you look on the internet, on, on Reddit, um, people will point you in the, in the direction of logs, uh, firewall logs, there's some orders of volatility questions, so it could be any of these things. So, but you, you will refresh yourself on, on this material with some of the other questions, so that is one th really good thing about the Security Plus exam. Time-wise, I had a lot of time, and this might have been a problem for me, because I finished with a, a large amount of time, over 25, 30 minutes left. So I honestly made the mistake of going back and trying to uh, work through my, some of the questions that I had flagged. And um, I, I really have a thing against changing right at the last minute, so I didn't change them. But I do see how someone, when they're taking the exam, could really second guess themselves. So, um, and then, there's one other thing about the exam that's really, that CompTIA really gets you on is before, after you submit the exam or after the timer runs out, you have to fill out a survey. So just be prepared for this, but you have to fill out a survey and it takes about 10 minutes before you can see your score. And then there it is, the score pops up and you realize that you passed the, the CompTIA Security Plus exam. Um, thank you very much. If you like this video, please check out my channel. Um, I'm a cybersecurity student at Penn State University and I would just, I'm creating this channel to basically educate all the cybersecurity students and people in the workforce and tell them about the, some of the certification exams out there. I'm currently working on the Cybersecurity Analyst Plus and I'm basically open to creating whatever content the viewers want. So please like, comment, rate, and subscribe this and check in with me next week. I'm gonna be posting videos every Tuesday, thank you.